<laughs> this is a video that you need to see. This is one of my best interviews that I'm telling you, you need to see, you need to hear. Follow along. Hey, what's it on right now? You're watching DC Born Rob on YouTube. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. My name is DC Born Rob, DC Rob, Rob. I answer to them all. If you're getting any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos, and like. Like helps the YouTube algorithm. The more you hit like, the more people get to watch this video. And for all those who take a second and go down and hit like, this is for you. Peace and love, eh? What a leg. Okay, again, I told you guys I have a special guest with me today. Uh, this time I have Mrs. X. She will be unnamed, she will be unseen, but she will pass on some valuable information for you guys. Welcome to the show, Mrs. X. How are you? Hi, good afternoon, good afternoon everybody. Nice to meet you. I'm very good. Excellent. Yeah, excited, to, uh, excited to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on. Uh, this is some information that my guys need to hear. Again, 94, 95% of my uh, viewers are gentlemen who visit Columbia. And I think you have some pertinent information for our last conversation. You have a lot of information that they can have benefit out of. Uh, let, let me ask you right off the bat. Um, have you lost anyone to scopolamine? Yes, I have lost... Uh a friend and a client of mine. Um, uh, yes, that's here. Okay, so what, I wanted to ask her that because I wanted you guys to know that this is why she's coming on. She believes like we do that something should be done about this and she's going to pass on a few tips and hints and tricks for you guys to use. Well, here's the second uh, question for you, uh, Mrs. X. Have you ever been scoped before? Yes, once uh, in a club in an after-hours club. Um, like we say in Colombia, I gave papaya because I didn't, I forgot I had only 20,000 pesos on me, which I paid there for the entrance, and then I had $200 on me uh, that I, I just had them there, and, and then I just asked them if they could exchange the money to me, and then the bartender exchanged the money to me, and I ordered uh beer and then um i took uh, like three sips of the beer and then i looked into the left where they built up a new dance floor and then i just walked into the dance floor which was a bit dark and that was at 1 a.m in the morning and then what? i blacked out i don't even remember when i blacked out i just remember when i woke up nine hours after nine o'clock in the morning they woke me up the bartender woke me up hey you get up get up it's time to leave the club we're closing and i was like what what happened and i was like i mean i woke up like i just woke up i didn't feel even this you i i um it was very strange and and i just woke up and i looked in my bag and my phone was stolen my my money was stolen and they left me with 20,000 pesos for the taxi, but they are very kind. <laughs> and and then they, they threw me out of the club, basically. And there were people that they knew me. I, I, I used to frequent this place, and they knew me. But this bartender didn't know me, but at the end of the day, they are all involved. And and yeah, this is another way that they, they can use. It's like they, they can scope you in a club when you, when you exchange any any currency or if they see your wallet with a lot of cash so you have to be careful by no giving papaya no no showing off what you have you know because they always checking the foreigners you know because the foreigners have dollars or pounds or you know uh, euros um so yeah so that's what happened to me well so you think it was the employees that put it in your drink yeah yeah okay but the, the, the eight days after, I bumped into a friend of mine from England, and Tom told me, I told him, oh, you know, I got, because he, he used to go to this club too, and, uh, and then he, he asked me, hey, I, uh, how are you? Oh, no, okay. 
Oh, and I told him the story, and then he said, oh, it also happened to me. And uh, they, they spoke me there, and they brought everything to me. I went to the police, and blah, blah, blah. So they are all, I mean, it's, they are all involved. This club is owned by Mafia, and uh, used to be owned by Mafia, and they, they made it closed down, so this is closed down now. Um, uh, but yeah, it's the whole club, the owner, the administrator, basically. Okay. Okay, so I, I know you don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to run through some of these questions. Um, well, no, it's okay. I have, I have good time. You good? Okay, okay. okay. I want to make sure I get because you've given me some good ones okay. to, to, to ask as well. So, no problem. well, let me ask you this because I've been warning my viewers for the past what few weeks or a couple of months to stay off social media or meeting girls on social media, specifically Tinder. What are your thoughts as far as uh, social media or using uh, apps such as Tinder? Uh, to meet dates. Well, the, these mafia gangs are now using social media to hunt their victims, especially Tinder and Facebook are the two most used at the moment. And Tinder basically is the most, is where you get more complaints from girls. Uh, but you can actually, I think my recommendation to, to the guys uh, and girls too, you know, who fancy girls because you, you never know. Um, it's just to really also have some to learn how to read people to don't allow the sexy because some, some the majority of times this girl looks very exposed, very uh, tacky, and and you know it's just and and just vulgar, very vulgar. With a lot of tattoos, some of them, and a straight, black, long hair, and they are they have a prototype because they like to all look kind of similar. We call them the prepago girls. They they now are like matching in the looks. So I will say, so if sometimes the majority of times what happens they are uh, oh hi hey, how are you okay yeah. How would you like to meet? Yes, yeah, let's meet in, in uh, can we meet in your flat? Yes, I can bring a friend. That's the first alarm. Yes. Attention to that. Yeah? Absolutely. No, if they are going to bring a friend, you have to say no. And you, you first meet them outside. You know, if you're going to meet a girl, try to look for the girls. They look kind, they look sweet, they don't look too overexposed. And the ones who are too pushy, you know, um, and you have to kind of have that uh, that awareness of knowing how to to read body language and and, and and read the picture. You can you can recognize them if you look properly and you don't look only the the, the breast or or the bum or the legs. Just look the whole person and look. You know what they like. They like to say that they come from a university. The majority of them, but you just see them and you know that they are an academic or at all. Some of them might, but the majority they aren't educated at all. So character reading is very important to learn. You know, from the guys to don't let the the, the sexy appearance take over the, the the good the good person. You know. Okay, well, you said a lot with the with the, the the visual part. So tattoos, like if they had a full arm tattoo, a tattoo yeah, on the neck, long, long nails, long fake, fake nails, and the long black straight hair, you know, and and like with a lot of buttox in the face sometimes, the lips, they just look, they look just tacky. I mean. Tacky and cheap. Don't go for the tacky and cheap look. Go for girls that look sweet and professional and like sports and like to be, you know, active. Um, because the majority of the other girls, they never put like, they like to be active in sports or, you know, uh, tracks and, and things like that, you know. So they need to really be good in reading people's profiles. You know, they, they, you can, you can recognize it because I was needing to study them after they killed my friend because I work along with the, with the fiscal year. And, and that's how I, I got to, to, to learn how to recognize them. 
Okay. Um, so, well, what happens? Yeah. What happens? That's from from looking at their profile and looking at their pictures. But what happens when they show up? First of all, and I think you spoke of this before when we spoke. Um, you want to meet them in public, correct? You don't want to bring them directly to your hotel or you know anybody no. you meet. No, and, and if they come to your flat, you must must take a picture always of their ID. You always need to ask the friends because if you're going to come to my to, to my flat, I need you to send me your ID uh, details. You know, send me a picture of your ID. And if they come to a building, you must ask them to give the the ID to the uh, security guy at the entrance to take a picture, and you also take a picture. Because the ID is the most important, because with that ID, they do something you can go to the police, and then it's easy to, to catch them. Okay, so what, what percentage do you think are real IDs, and it's not a friend or a cousin's ID. Do you think they're pretty much all real IDs? And in that case, you yeah. would want to get a picture yeah. of the ID and them, correct? You, you will see. You will see that they, that they look the same as the ID. It has to look exactly the same. If, if something that looks not the same, then it's fake. But they have to, you have to know how the Colombian ID looks, you know? So go and search online, Colombia and ID, this is how it looks, so you know, you know? Yeah, good advice. Good advice. Guys, look at the sedula. Find out. I'll find a picture of what a sedula looks like, and I'll make sure it's posted posted up here. Um, let me ask you and this. Also, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Also, mm -hmm. Mark, warn them. If you warn them, if, if they, if, because if you look naive, they will take advantage. But if you look as stupid, and intelligent, they won't do anything because they know they would get in trouble. So you will say, hey, I'm taking your ID. I already sent your ID. And always, this is another very important step to make. To, to make. You have to send that ID to your best friend, to someone that you know that lives in Colombia, or another friend who, who, who is in Colombia in, in the same city. The okay. same day. Say, hey, I'm going to be with this girl, and you want them. Listen, I send your ID to my friends so they know that you are with me. Yeah? In case you, you are planning to do something to me, they already know who you are. Yeah? This is good then, information. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and then perhaps take a video. A video in the moment, I'm taking a video, and this is a way for them to scare them. And then they will change their mind. You have to. To be very astute because they are very astute. So you have to use the same sort of uh, um, um, way to 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 make them aware that they kind of fuck around with you. That that is excellent information. Let's well, let me ask you this: if you if you ask them to take a picture, um, take a picture with you, and take a picture of the ID, and they refuse, what's your answer to that? Then goodbye. You want to, to have. They are saying that they are they are bad mm -hmm. and they, they are hiding something. So it's like, okay, thank you. There are plenty of girls out there. Why do you need to take just that one? If they if they deny it's because they are bad. So goodbye, I can find another one. Be, be practical. Phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal information. Absolutely important. Guys, you need to pay attention to this right here. So are there some areas that uh, or areas or places like businesses uh, that they should yes. focus on, stay away from, or go to? Yes. Where, sh where should they go and where should they stay away from? The place that they should be uh, away from is Parque Lleras. Parque Lleras, all around Parque Lleras, all the bars of Parque Lleras, the majority of the bars of Parque Lleras are bars from by mafia guys and and uh, and they are like like bars where they they have these girls working in there. They they go there and they don't hire. Some of them are hired as a, as a waitresses. They're now using this new way where they just make them look very sexy and they hire them. Or there are other bars where the girls can go independently, but. Because they are working girls, they offer them children. They buy over them 
to drink in order for them to pick up the the the, the clients there. But this this club usually have team. They control some of the girls, so you have to be careful. So Parquetero is now the niche where they 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 all work from. The majority of the girls who are in Tinder work in Parquetero, and they work along with the so it's a whole the mafia works like this. This gang is is is, is um, organized like this. So the bar and the bar owner and administrators um, they have a deal with the police with the corrupt police. They pay them some money so the police don't take the prostitutes from the street, especially the ones who are underage because they are plenty because it's like a, a very uh, Attractive market for for you know foreigners to find underage girls. So then the girls bring the the clients to the bar because they ask for the most expensive bottles of alcohol, and then they already have a deal with the guy who drives a uh, Uber, in driver, ED, and yellow taxi to bring them to the place. To the client's place, and then they can will say, "Hey, should we ask for some drinks?" And then they will order Rappi, and Rappi is a delivery company that brings food, alcohol, anything you want. Mm -hmm. And then these special guys will bring the alcohol, grab the truck. Some of the girls will have already this coupon. I mean, some of the girls won't have it, and then Rappi will bring it to them, and and then. Uh, they wrap your right, give the drugs and the alcohol, and then they go to the 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 drug in the in the clients um brain. So um so avoid parquetera completely, completely, completely. I won't go there. Uh, there are other places where people can you know where the clients can can uh, find meet good girls which are teams cafes, community events, um, private parties, you know, in clubs that you know, you know, uh, good clubs that are well known. Some of the clubs, yeah, you see, some of the girls go to the clubs sometimes, you have to be careful too, but I would say more like frequent, like teams, you know, and yeah, coffee places and and um, co-working places. Um, yeah, I think this is the best place to meet girls. And community events, there are plenty of community events always, okay. you know, for, for, for single people, and they are safe, you know? Um, but yeah, try to avoid Tinder, uh, but if it's Tinder, try to really learn how to read the character. Okay, and let me go back to something you just said about Parque Yeris and you said and the police and, and whoever controls the businesses. You said some of them are underage. Are you saying that some of the girls, the working girls in Parque Yeris are underage and the police know about it? Yes, I, I, I watched her. I watched it with my eyes. I saw it with my eyes. I, especially a day that, that you, this was last year and, and because many things have happened. The uh, the mayor said there was um how do you say they they say there was a toque de queda where from seven o'clock in the in the evening the under age girls they couldn't be hanging out. Oh with yeah. Mm -hmm. I was there from eight o'clock. I saw the police there. I actually spoke with five police, three men and two police women, and. Warned them, hey, look, it's nine o'clock in the evening, and this was, the, I saw this 13 year old girl, and she couldn't have more than that. And, and they went back, walked by, and she didn't say anything because it was already arranged uh, with the bartender because they, are, they have been paid already. I saw the administrator of the bar that I was hanging because I was in a, uh, investigating the, the kill of my friend. I saw going to the police, approaching the police, and paying the police. So this is, I saw it with my own eyes. And that's when I, I find out how this mafia gang works. And I, I even told the girl, what, well, you shouldn't be here, but they don't care because 
because it's a very organized and they are protected by the police. So what can you do in this case? You know, they are protected by the police and then by the bartender, by the bar owners. What, what, what are you going to do? Nothing. It was, it was really disappointing. So, yeah. Mm. Wow. Well, this, this is, that part's shocking, but... Very, very corrupt. You know, this is the second most corrupt country in the world. That the other thing that you have to know. It's very pretty. Very pretty, you know, the ecology. The biodiversity is very pretty, but the people, the Colombian people, are very corrupt. You know. Now, are, are you were were you born in Colombia? Yes, I was born. Born, Colombia. born in Medellin. In Bogota. In Bogota. Okay, but you're in Medellin now. Yes. Okay. Question. I, I asked this one before, but um, not on camera. Um, is it safe to date girls from bars in Parque Lleras, such as? Yeres Park or Gustos? Uh, I find out that Yeres Park, no. But Gusto, the problem is that if you get drunk, then you go down and you will catch up, you will just grab a girl because it's, it's like a it's horrible. As, I mean, I, I, I've been coming to Medellin since I was very young, and Parque Yeres has become like a really dark, decadent place. And Gusto, I met girls. I mean, I went with my friends who came to visit. They they, they like to go there, and and never they have been drunk by any of the girls from Gusto because Gusto uh, have a deal like they protect them and they they make sure they are good girls. And I spoke to them, and and they are yeah they have a deal with them and and. and they are, they are safe girls, Gusto, but I will avoid all packages all along. I mean, because at the end of the day, it's just, I don't know, it's dark. It's very dark and dirty. I won't go there. Well, you just said a good one. So what happens is people go to Gusto's and we know everything is expensive in Gusto. So when they come downstairs, like you said, drunk, then they just grab somebody off the street who's sitting out there waiting for them that didn't, get, that didn't pay to, to go inside. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Be careful. I mean, don't grab any girl from Parque Lleras to begin with. I mean, avoid Parque Lleras all of I mean, there are many other places around. You know, also, La Setenta, you have to be careful in La Setenta. It's another hour in Laureles, mm -hmm. which is very famous. Um, but it's less. I mean, the, the, the niche, the most dangerous niche is Parque Lleras. Uh, Laureles is, is there, but it means you have to be careful. Um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you, what do you say to people who say, I want to go to Medellin, but I think it's too dangerous? No, no. Too, that's too extreme. No, Medellin is a, it's a really cool city. It's my favorite city in Colombia. Especially because of the climate. It's a beautiful city to, 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 um, to tourists around, so many things to do, activities all around and to Antioquia stay really beautiful to visit. Uh, it's not, it's, it's more about being uh, astute, intelligent, aware, and knowing what you're looking for, you know? Don't look for prostitutes, look for good academic or, or just healthy and fun girls, you know? But don't look for the for the girls who are, in, you know, who are in, in the in, in the dark, in the, in the decadent world, you know, in the decadent world, you know, it's, it's just many foreigners live here for many years and they never have been drunk because they never go to space, they never bring to space. So it's just knowing where to go and and knowing what you like. You, if you have got the habit of, of having prostitutes, where you need to learn how to hire prostitutes here. The best way to hire prostitutes in Medellin is to go online and, and look for escort website. Yeah, that's the safest thing. Um, because it's an agency and they will pay your girl who is safe and it's no problem. Yeah? There's agencies? There, there's agencies you can call? Agencies and in, in, in online, yeah. Wow. That's the best way. Okay, okay. So that and there are. I, I, I had a, a gentleman on the other day that told me that there are casas, casas or casitas, 
um, all over that are protected too, and they have a vested interest in making yes, sure you stay safe. Yes. The, the houses that, that you find online, that you know, that go, that I guess you can come up, the old ones are also safe. Not every time I have heard that somebody go drop in one of those houses, but it's very rare. But it's houses that are not in a very dodgy, like in a very far away place, no, in the center, don't go to the center. Places that are in Laureles or Poblado. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But never go to the center, to the house in the center or something like that, because they are, they, they are, they are like dangerous places. Okay. Is it true? I, I read a story not too long ago, a couple of months ago, that a lot of the, the let's say, lower budget uh, women who work the streets in El Centro are coming up to uh, Parque Yeres. Yes. Oh, it's terrible. All the transvestites, they, are, they look really disgusting, like with heroin addicts. Oh, it's just it's really it's horrible. To, I mean, like, when I need to pass through Parque Yeres, and it's just I want to run away from there because it's just it's horrible. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you go down and hit subscribe. You definitely like it. helps that YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm talking about? See what I'm saying? We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you liked the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.